MMA Fight Corner. On right now with us, guys, the aforementioned Ian Uncle Creepy McCall is with us here on the hotline. Uncle Creepy, thanks for coming on the MMA Fight Corner. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, fantastic, man. First of all, let me uh, compliment you on your mustache. It is it is a thing of beauty, and uh, it's fearsome. It's exceptional. You are welcome. Well, thanks for coming on the program with us. Of course, Ian Uncle Creepy McCall is going to be fighting in the upcoming uh, UFC Fight Night 37 in London. And uh, I've got to ask you here, is it different when you go across the sea and, and fight in a UFC fight? Is it different than it is over here in the States? Uh, and of course, it's different. You know, it's, it's enemy territory, but I don't mind it. I, I get a free uh, a free travel ticket out of it. and I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm different than most people. I don't mind traveling and fighting. It's just kind of fun to me. It adds a little bit of a danger to it. And nothing can be more hostile than facing the hostile crowd you faced in Brazil. I mean, that had to have prepared you for anything you're going to face in the future. But going in there, winning that fight in Brazil, was the crowd as hostile as you expected? Were you ready to deal with the, the chance of, you know, they're chanting, Uvai Muhe, which means you will die. I mean, how, how, what was that experience like? Uh, I had a good time. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, I would say I don't speak the language, but I know what that means. <laughs> I'm sure you had a great time, man. You took home that win over Iliard Santos. It was your first in the UFC. How ecstatic were you to finally punch that W in? Uh, it was cool. I mean, a little bittersweet, kind of annoying. I didn't finish him. It's kind of annoying. I haven't won so far yet, but... <laughs> Besides all the negatives, it was it was a good time. M much much better time once you got that fight of the night check, though, huh? Yeah, that was a lot better. So now you have ahead of you Brad Pickett, who's dropping down to flyweight for this fight, and you're welcoming him to the division. Of course, he's uh, from that area in England, and he's got that nickname, One Punch. Uh, you know, going into this fight, I mean, he's picked up like five uh, bonuses in his last six fights. Uh, how how excited are you to welcome him into the division and maybe look forward to another bonus in this one? Uh, I'm super excited. You know, I've gotten, I'm at a 50% ratio so far getting bonuses. Um, he's only going to add to that. I, and I, hopefully I can get a finish in this fight and, and get a knockout or submission and I, instead of uh, <laughs> instead of a fight of the night. Or if I can do what uh, Alex did, I can get both of them. Have a good fight and then uh, and then get some some you know some sort of finish out of it. That would be really nice. A uh, hundred thousand dollars is is a hundred thousand dollars. It's a nice yeah. nice thing to have in your bank. For sure, man. I mean, you guys were both in the WEC, but your paths never crossed when you were there. Uh, so. You've got to know by this point a lot about him being, you know, the veterans that you are of the fight game. Uh, what are you expecting coming into this fight? Have you been able to really dissect his game and watch a lot of tape? Uh, I don't watch too much tape. Uh, I've seen him fight enough, you know. Uh, I, I know what he wants to do. He's going to come out and try to knock my head off. And, and you know, it, him coming down to 25, that, that's not always a recipe for for uh, <laughs> revamping your career. You, you weren't the fastest bantamweight in the world, um, and you're coming down to, to a division where speed is king, then, uh, I mean, it's kind of a, a recipe for getting your ass kicked, if you ask me. Yeah, he's got, got great stand-up, um, but you've never been stopped with strikes in your career. So, you know, I feel like, do you feel like even though you're going into his hometown that you have an advantage here? <clears throat> yeah, I always feel like I have an advantage because I'm the better fighter. Uh, hometown or not, I, I don't mind traveling. And if UFC wants me to be the guy that travels everywhere and beats people up in their hometown, then, then I'll, I'll be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the flyweight division as of late, it's been kind of growing a lot. You've seen an influx of a lot of new fighters to the roster uh, in the flyweight division. Is there anybody that you've seen in, in the division so far that's caught your eye that's one of these newcomers that maybe you're interested in uh, taking on also? Um, yeah, I like the Russian, uh, Ali Bogatanov. He's, he's a stud. He, I think he'll make a big splash and probably, I think he'll beat, he'll beat Lineker. I think it'll be a good fight, but, um, I could definitely see us fighting after I beat Brad, uh, for a title shot, definitely. That would be fun. I would, I'd would, I'd love to watch that fight. You know, speaking of title shots, I, I'd seen on Twitter, uh, you had tweeted out your thoughts on Thompson and Henderson that you thought that decision was BS, man. Uh, what, what did you have that fight scored as? 
You know, I, I, I'm a little biased because I'm friends with Josh, but, and I've never been that big of a fan of Benson. <laughs> um, and I, I take things personally, like on a personal level, I just won't like somebody because I don't like them for <laughs> no apparent reason. Um, you know, <laughs> but, uh, I just, you know, Josh just seemed to, all the things that Benson was good at, just the simple stuff. I mean, he dumped him on his head at the end of the round when Benson does, you know, he does the same single leg thing, you know, I do the same thing when someone has a single leg, I can jump around forever. Well, Josh just, you know, said, okay, there's one way to fix that, and that's by throwing your foot in the air. Like, he just did small things that kind of punked him that it just kind of, it's hard to judge that way, I understand, because of points and, you know, all that stuff. But it just seemed like he, he controlled the fight better. You know, yeah, Benson chased him around a little more, but he took his back a couple times. He got, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'd have to go back and watch it um, very carefully, but I, I just, I don't know. I think he won. Yeah, uh, you know, you'd said, you know, on a personal level, there's some things uh, going on here with you. And I actually, you know, wanted to take the opportunity to um, wish you... Uh, all my best. I'm sorry to have heard about you, Shane, your, uh, you know, training partner. You guys work together, Team Oyama, and also your roommate, his passing man. Uh, just to have that opportunity to tell you, I, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Hey, Ian, uh, with that, I, I just had a question. You know, you, you've been very outspoken about your past substance abuse and, you know, your kind of recovering addict. And after Shane's passing, you know, there was uh, oxycodone and, and cocaine in his system. So being his roommate, you know, was that something you were aware of or, or was this like and was it difficult you to be roommates with him if he was doing it out in the blue or was this kind of like an undercover thing? Uh, again, I, I don't know. You know, it was just one of those things that happens. Um, you know, I, I don't <laughs> you don't always know what's going on in your own house, you know, and, and, and it's uh, again, you know, we. He just, you know, shame. I don't know what he was doing, having fun or what, but it, it is what it is, and I, I don't know. I, I try not to think about it or talk about it, really. Yeah, and we're online right now with uh, Ian Uncle Creepy McCall here on the MMA Fight Corner, of course. Uncle Creepy fighting in UFC Fight Night 37 over in London, and, and I don't know if this is general knowledge here, but I have to ask because I wasn't able to find it. How did you get your nickname? Who gave you this nickname? Uh, my friend's son. <laughs> I always hated nicknames. Um, I still hate nicknames. I think they're stupid. Um, and especially people who give themselves nicknames. Yes. So I, always, <laughs> I, always, I always made fun of people who, um, who did that, you know. And then, of course, my friend's son, who calls me Uncle Ian, called me Uncle Creepy one night, and everyone heard and it stuck. And <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll that happen. That will happen. I, I'd also seen on Twitter, uh, you know, you're very playful. You're a fun guy. You keep the fans interested. But uh, you were interested in fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov in uh, your Borat outfit or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what was I, that yeah. all about? Oh, I don't know. I just get bored. And, and you know, the, um, <laughs> hey. the, 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 the Russians are, they're, you know, they're, they, they, they can take a joke. You know, at least I figured it out that way. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and I, they're just, I don't know, I like to play with everybody. And if you take offense to what I say, then you should probably go pick a new sport or something. Just last question for me, uh, Ian. I was just curious. You were supposed to fight at UFC Fox 9 and you had a hand injury. Um, what had happened to your hand and how was it healed up? Uh, I broke it. I broke it in uh, Brazil pretty bad. And it just wasn't ready in time for December. Um, you know, I would I would have taken the fight. Especially seeing how Scott performed, I almost wish I would have taken the fight, but I probably would have broke it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better you get in there healthy against Brad in March. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and of course that is coming up uh, March the eighth, UFC Fight Night thirty seven live from London. Uh, Ian Uncle Creepy McCall, sorry buddy, the nickname it has stuck with you, and, and again, uh, it's it's one of those things. It'll make its way into a video game. You'll feel a whole lot better after the royalty check start. Uh, start to roll in there with it. So thanks so much for joining us here on the Fight Corner. Best of luck to you. And, uh, you know, after you get that title shot, we'd love for you to come back here on the program. Tell us all about the experience. Sounds good. All right. Thanks so much again to uh, Ian McCall. And again, UFC Fight Night 37, March 8th.